there seems to be some confusion between UTM and GTM. We're going to first explain what UTM means, then GTM, then go into UTM versus GTM. The two are completely separate systems and can be used independently of each other. They do not rely on each other. However, there are advanced Google Analytics configurations that can be made when these two are used together. Here is what you need to know about UTM versus GTM. And now it's time for some more DIY SEO tips with Jennifer Regina. UTM tags and a tag manager sound like two items that would be related, right? Although they sound similar, they are not related to each other. UTM tags are added to a URL to track external links. UTM tags are attributes or parameters added to the end of a URL. These attributes record additional information in digital analytics tools such as Google Analytics. When you add a link to your website in an email or an ad, UTM tags allow you to add insight about that particular campaign so you can better understand where people are coming from and which campaigns are having the biggest impact. GTM is used to load and maintain website tracking tags for various software programs. So GTM, on the other hand, stands for Google Tag Manager. It's a tool that is completely separate from Google Analytics. Although it can help with Google Analytics setup and maintenance, as well as other non-Google related tools. Tools such as Google Analytics require a tracking tag to be added to every page on your website in order to capture the data used to populate the tool. Depending on what you want to track on your website, you could have multiple tracking tags. You can have one for Google Analytics, Google Ads, Facebook, and a user analysis tool such as Hotjar. Instead of adding each of those separate tags to your site, you can just add one tag for a tag manager such as Google Tag Manager, GTM, and then that helps in two ways. First, it improves page speed because instead of loading multiple tags, your site only loads one tag and the other tags load asynchronously. Second, when you want to add a new tag, you now have one place to add it to get it to appear on every page. So UTM and GTM are not linked to each other. These two systems do not need to be used together. Adding UTM tags to your URL will allow you to track those metrics in your Google Analytics account regardless if it's set up using Google Tag Manager or not. GTM does not provide any analytics. It can be used to deploy Google Analytics tracking, but using a UTM tag does not rely on GTM in any way. So UTM tags aren't configured in Google Tag Manager because they aren't deployed on your website. UTM tags are added onto your existing URLs. They aren't added to or configured on your website. You don't need Google Tag Manager installed to use UTM tags. You do not need any tag managers to implement UTM tags. To find out exactly how to create a UTM tag, I'll have a complete guide that you can follow. Just click the link in the show notes and you can view that guide there. Now, there are some advanced UTM and GTM configurations that you can set up using both. If you want to get into some advanced configurations, there are some customizations that you can make to UTM tracking using GTM. By default, UTM tags allow you to track the campaign, medium, source, keywords, and the campaign content. If you want to add an additional parameter, such as audience, you can do that with GTM. There is a guide that you can follow to use GTM to create additional UTM attributes to track more data. That link will also be included in the show notes, so just click there, view the full article, and you can view all the links there. So in summary, whether or not you have Google Analytics set up with GTM, you should still use UTM tags to track external links in your marketing campaigns. Thanks for listening, and if you enjoyed this, please subscribe. This episode was brought to you by ClearPath Online, a DIY SEO tool for your website.